Hello everybody and welcome to Transperth News Episode 3. It's been a while since we previously did a Transperth News episode, but look at this. Lakeland Station Bus Network, 4th of January 2023 as you can see in the corner, and we already have the Lakeland Station Bus Network information opened up. So let's just take a quick look at the maps they've released and learn about the new bus routes. So as you can see, it just says about the new Lakeland station being built between Warburg and Mandurah, 23 kilometers apart, and all the features it will have. This is on the transfer website, so you can go check it out if you want. Um, hang on, why is this missing now? A few hours ago, that was there. Oh, they removed the panel for the survey. Because in a few days, a survey is going to open on mysaytransport.com or whatever it is, .gov, I don't know. But it should be on here, oh yeah, here, .w.gov.au. It's going to open up and then the local community can have their opinion on the new stuff. But it was here before, and now they removed it, and now it's buggy. And when you click on this, it all dis disappears, which is very annoying. Can't even access the network map now. Why is it doing this? Maybe if I screenshot it. <laughs> what the hell, Transperth? I just want to look at your updates and and you do this to me. Oh well, um, I'll be right back. I'll just download the maps that I already saved before and we'll just use that instead. Okay, so unfortunately it seems the website has become crippled. I don't know what happened. They removed the survey thing and now these buttons don't work so you can't read the information anymore. Very annoying. Just check back here in a few days and hopefully it'll be fixed. But I did download the maps earlier so we can take a look at the map still and I'll try to say what I can remember. So as you can see, this is the first major change you notice. Route 558, currently one of the longest routes on the network all the way from Rockingham to uh, Mandurah is now only going to be going to Warmbro. Very, a very, very shortened route. Like if you look at the map here, this is Google Maps. You can see, look at this, Rockingham over here, down to Mandurah over here. That's an insane distance. Like if you zoom out, you see it's pretty much the same as like Perth to Butler basically. Yet now it's just gonna be this little section over to Warmbro as you can see in the map along the main road and past the shop up there and then the current 562 is just going to be renumbered to the 559 while the 559 at the moment is going to be withdrawn and replaced by new routes 561 and 574 traveling down Warmbro Sound Avenue 561 terminating at Secret Harbor so I think this is how the current 561 already is at the moment, but it just goes from Rockingham. Now it's just going to go from Warmbro instead. And then the 574 is the replacement for the 558 all the way down, but only to Lakeland Station. No further than that. So the 558 has now been split into three sections compared to just the one it was previously. And then this is the southern map. You can see the 574 here, there's actually a temporary alignment here on Mandurah Road until these roads are ready. And then it goes into Lakeland Station. So it looks like Lakelands is actually only going to be served by one, two, three, four, four routes. And this, what is this? Oh, not another one transferred. We have the 273 and the 301 and the 292 and how many more pointless routes and now this what is this seriously this little patch of houses on the eastern side of the station currently their closest bus route is on this route road anyway now they're going to have a brand new train station less than a kilometer away from them yet transport decides that oh we really have to serve them gives them a 577 super short new route just coming up here and going back it will be expanded in the future but for the moment this will be one of the most pointless routes on the network again just with this little patch of houses you can see here when there's so many other places in the network which don't have a bus nearby and never will like look at this all this in singleton does that have a bus there oh yeah wait that that's the 558 over here at the moment but like th there's definitely many other areas which are much further from having a bus than that little patch of houses and instead they're getting a new route which is 
look we can we can look at the whole route on street view are you ready guys let's take a look so here we are this is where the new lakeland station is going to be bus exits from here comes onto this roundabout and then just travels down this road very quick very quick journey along here probably only gonna have like three stops along the way serving these houses which you could easily walk to the train station get your fitness up you know or take your bike continue along here continue and are we there yet wait dragonfly avenue hang on got confused now no 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 yeah you keep going to the end of lake valley drive and then you turn up dragonfly avenue and then you just go to the end of this and that's the whole route we're almost there if i did any other routes on street view apart from the other pointless ones i mentioned before it would take forever but this one why is it going so slow now what stupid google maps anyway that's basically it we're almost there this is like just round the bend and then the terminus well it's not really the terminus it's actually gonna operate as like a circular come out and always go back it's not just ever gonna go out and then not in service back so yeah that's that anyway let's take a look there's not really much else new to see it's actually less routes than I expected and then the current 584 which goes at which terminates here in Medora Bay at the moment is just gonna obviously turn to Lakelands instead that was an expected thing and then there's a much quicker 585 straight along Mandurah Road here that one will be a very fast connection between the two stations and then the 586 over here replacing the 587 which will be withdrawn coming down along here and this little bit here and there so three routes for Mandra to Lakelands and then only one route from Lakelands to Warmbro and then the two change routes from Warmbro to Rockingham but there's other ones like 557 as well as you can see here not all bus routes are shown so there's not really much else to say now since we can't read the stuff on the website we can just take a quick look at the, at the frequencies 10 minute frequency for the 558 in peak i really i think that's an improvement that's good and 15 minute interpeak yeah it's definitely an improvement um that one is good 559 hourly on saturday on weekends but i guess that's okay it's just this little section anyway uh 561 also hourly on weekends and this one looks good for peak hour but now if you look on the southern map this the 577 the short annoying route 20 minutes per bus in peak <laughs> like already that seems silly is it just gonna be one driver up and down all day no probably not it'll just be coming off from other routes but 20 minutes if you're gonna serve that area then maybe serve it more frequently because then it's just like oh what i missed it 20 minutes wait now i'll just walk anyway so what's the point point? and then interpeak 60 minutes every hour when it's not peak time every hour seriously who's gonna specifically wait in their house for that minute of the hour when their bus comes past when they could easily walk to the train station and then no services on weekends and public holidays like oh, oh my this this route is just so silly again it's driving me insane anyway all the other ones also seem hourly on week ends and then 585 is actually pretty frequent along the main road here but yeah you can see all the frequencies on the side and that's really about it however these are not the the final routes they're just the proposals which the community now can give feedback on and if they want to change anything like there's no guarantee this will become a reality this silly 577 however last time when we had the airport line proposals i think almost all of the changes became reality although the 292 wasn't shown on the original map because there was a change in plans between perth airport and the trans perth and stuff but it's most of it seems to become a reality anyway because how's the community going to tell transport planners how to do stuff better you know so yeah that's how it is there oh here this is an example look see this big patch of houses next to the train line here 
with no train station, this is where the near where Carnop station would be in the future, but at the moment, not served by any route. And that's just as big as this patch of houses, which will be served by a route, so yeah, just unbelievable. This route's gonna be less than three kilometers round trip. So yeah. Pretty crazy. So obviously I'm gonna go film all these changes once they're actually confirmed, but it's probably gonna be about six months from now that the airport line actually opens in around July. Not airport, <laughs> not airport line. I'm so used to saying that. Lake Line Station opens in around June or July. Mid 2023 is when it's scheduled at the moment, so that'll be nice. One new station to take a look at, not too far out from Mandra. And it's also now the second station out of Perth, like out of the Perth metropolitan area. So we'll have two stations within the Mandra city area. So that's nice. So yeah, you can see the final look at these maps here. Not really much else to see because this annoying thing doesn't work so can't do much without that I mean this basically just stated more detail on the frequencies and how the changes would impact passengers but read that for yourself once it works again once the programmer figures out how to fix it and you can see on the map here like if I measured the distance 577 oh my <laughs> 1.35 kilometers unbelievable and that's about it at the moment the closest bus to lake lines is the 587 which is actually going to be withdrawn right over here and this one actually does terminate in lake lines itself and goes past the shopping center too so yeah oh yeah when they were originally talking about lake line station they said there's going to be a nice frequent connection to the shopping center is that true I mean, yeah, I guess so. They've got like three routes going there. So that's one more thing we're going to do, actually. We're going to go into the Metronet website now. And we're going to take a quick look at all the FAQ about Lakeland Station. And then we're going to end the video. So you can see here, this the artist impression. And these are all the project features. You can pause to read it or just go on the website yourself. But here you can see... Why do we need this station? Well, that's obvious. The distance between Warmer and Mandra is longer than a lot of the heritage lines themselves. The entire lines. And, yeah, will Karnop still be built? They apparently are going to eventually, but not any time at the moment. The journey is going to take 50 minutes. This doesn't make sense. That It's not going to be that much slower than the current 48 minutes from Mandra. Why would it be 50? I feel like it, the whole journey from Mandra to Perth will just be 49, one minute longer than it currently is, which is going to be exactly the same as Perth to Yanchip. So the northern and southern lines will be exactly the same amount of time, which seems pretty crazy. Um... Yeah, so is there anything... Yeah, so this. What bus services will serve as a station? There are currently three routes serving the suburb of Lakelands and surrounding suburbs. These will be realigned and split into five routes to serve as a station. Also, they already knew before they even talked about... Before they even released this that there's going to be five. See? They actually already knew. And, oh yeah, commuter, community consultation will be taking place within six months, which is exactly how it is. So, maybe that confirms it's actually going to be opening in June, because that's within six months, or the first few days of July. Very nice. Can't wait. Another new project opening. And you can see, uh, it is expected that three of the five planned routes will go to the Lake Lands Shopping Center. So, yes, that's true. Exactly. Although 5 at 4 is a bit further away, but still. Um, no, seriously, <laughs> they're counting this as one of the 5 routes. Just to say they made 5. Anyway, there's not really much else interesting. You can go on the website if you want to read. Anyway, thanks for watching Transport News Episode 3. Quick overview of the new bus network that's been released. Can't wait for this to come into effect. A lot of renumbering and a few new routes as well. So... Yep, that'll be nice. And especially this five fast 585. That'll be a quick route between Lakelands and Mandurah that you can take if you don't want to take the train. Like if you want to go to the shopping center. I bet you people trying to go to the shopping center will just take the bus from Mandurah and not go on a train and then another bus. So yeah, that's good. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.